From Michigan, biosemiotics in ancient Egyptian texts, the key unlocking the universal secret of sexuality. Julie K. King. Also, the pyramid text describes Apophis as a 
more oiled monster that poisons itself. Apophis is the sign of a monster, lex a repressor protein, that represses 42 genes on the lambda genome, keeping Osiris inert. When Osiris rises, the protein catalyzes its own digestion or poisons itself. The milk goddess Isis is the sign for lactose. The lac repressor protein, shown in purple, ties off the lactose by looping the DNA into the shape of the arm. This is also related to the Isis knot. The serpent around the sun god on the sun bark in the Anduit is a sign for Rec A protein. The protein enables transcription by forming a helical filament around single-stranded DNA. Rec A crystal structure in the compressed helical filament is a star of David. Literature and art define lambda lifestyles. On your left, lysogeny is controlled by C1 protein or set, which keeps Osiris, the inert viral DNA, on the host cell DNA and silently passed on in successive cell generations. C1 protein is a 5 alpha helix bundle that also loops the DNA a second unk. Lysis is controlled by pro protein porous which allows Osiris to rise from the dead. Pro is a three alpha helix bundle that folds into the shape of a boomerang. It is shown in the Anduit as the three-headed serpent carrying 14 heads, stars, discs, indicating head assembly. In the Oedipus of Taharka, we see the two arms of the land of Genome, the eye of Horus, the genetic battleground of proteins or the classic brother rivalry. Egyptian texts support Lambda DNA, or Os Osiris, is the quantum world heart of our universe, producing two DNA texts for survival. Put simply, the left arm results in the creation of the human world, sexual genesis, and vertical gene transfer, while the right arm results in transformation to energy through asexual genesis and horizontal gene transfer. It comes down to a biosemiotics of nature, mind interpreting in the body or mind interpreting in the universe. Let's look closer at this protein battle for gene expression. <coughs> in lysogeny, controlled by C1 protein or cell, Lambda invades the host cell, injecting its DNA inside. First, the DNA circularizes and becomes negatively supercoiled or twisted reversely with a zigzag backbone. Second, the Lambda genome must then go through a DNA cross or swastika called a holiday junction, a site-specific recombination process necessary for Lambda to get into or out of the host cell. It involves a seven base pair branch migration, which the Egyptians refer to as seven gates, and is symbolized by crossed arms or the bolt of the branch in Anduit Hour 3. Third, Lambda goes through the DNA cross and falls asleep on the host DNA next to the lactose genes, or Isis. This is a 30 base pair region also known as the hidden chamber, the house of the 30, the mansion of the six. It's between the lactose and bio genes, and lambda is silently replicated with the bacterial cell DNA while the lactose is tied off. At the bottom of the slide is an enlargement of the lambda genome and the protein <coughs> battleground, where C1 and Crow battle over two promoters controlling six operator sequences. Both proteins bind the right in a preferential order. C1 binds the right, one, two, three, and Crow binds three, two, one. Coffin text 1181 states that the deceased is sitting on the eye of Horus as the first of the three, indicating Horus or Crow has occupied our three first. How does Crow or Horus win this battle for the operator sites and restore rightful order or mod. 
When the spell goes into SOS due to UV irradiation or, or other damage, Rec A protein or the serpent around the sun god is upregulated and it slays all the repressor proteins, Apophis, Seth, and so on. Crow or Horus binds first because C1 or Seth is removed. Meanwhile, Osiris or the Lambda genome on the host chromosome hears the SOS signal to get out of the cell bonds with the incoming sun god complex, uses the lactose that is untied and rises from the dead through the DNA cross. Toth is the RNA polymerase that transcribes the word of God, the DNA instructions. Then Osiris, the land of DNA, forms an actual DNA arc to clone progeny via rolling circle replication. Millions of clones lice or burst the cell in a great flood of energy. Before you are very ancient symbols, the Star of David, the cross, the swastika, the circle of Osiris in the arm. This is more than a coincidence. These ancient signs all point to one biological message, horizontal gene transfer and lytic transformation for humans after death. Add to this that Lambda's two lifestyles encompass major religious themes, merging with the light, dying, rising God, the mother goddess, the brother rival, the virgin birth, the great flood. And we must concede that religion can be proved as science. With this knowledge, we can understand the zigzag route and hand it with our core. It represents the formation of Z-DNA, or the reverse coil DNA backbone. Negative supercoils rise behind a transcribing RNA polymerase, which plows straight through the DNA double helix instead of rotating around the DNA. The sun bar is a transcribing complex of molecules plowing straight through the center of the DNA magnetic field wormhole in a process of reverse transcription. Thus, we have backward heads. The mound in our five represents the transcription of the lact lactose genes by the polymerase. The black chamber is the site of the soon-to-arise Osiris, as is the judgment hall of Osiris in the Book of Gates. The judgment is simply one of protein levels. Where do you go for biosex? The element in which the northern polar cusp of our planet, the North Pole, the gap to the stars, where high energy protons exist, and the deceased is self-created and or self-assembled. This is the house of the net, the fish trap of ray, where the solar wind stretches and, and tears the magnetic field lines, where part of Particles collide and black, micro black holes form. Now we talked about pro-transcription of both arms of the Lambda genome as a DNA wormhole. The DNA wormhole exhibits the dynamics of, black, of a black hole connected to a white hole, which is a micro Einstein Rosen bridge, a time machine for a particle or wave back to a tomb. From the outer horizon in red, entities fall in, rotate around to be crushed at the ring singularity. However, if approached from the blue inner horizon or the axis of the black hole, the north pole, the ring singularity becomes repulsive gravity and it slows you down, turns you around, accelerates you right back out through the inner horizon of a white hole. Essentially, you have gone through four horizons the outer and the inner of the black hole, the inner and outer of the white hole, the opening of mouths four times. The Egyptian texts describe this process clearly, referencing inner horizons, rituals, the thunder pop effect, blue shift, two-headed serpents, or wormholes. Even the eye of Horus numbers that converge on zero are equivalent to black hole resolutions, determining the position of the inner horizon so you do not strike the ring singularity. Pyramid text 669 states that the prince ascends in a great storm from the inner horizon. 
Why did the pharaohs keep the knowledge secret? If horizontal gene trans, uh, if horizontal gene transfer transforms humans to a godly energy state, humans may desire death over life. Then the pharaoh's power would vanish. So knowledge must be kept secret to control the population and maintain file power or power over life. The conclusions, the hieroglyphs have biological roots. Lambda is a deep structure in our gene pool. Mind exists as universe, in the universe as energy. Human behavior mirrors lambda DNA dynamics. Egyptologists need biosemiotics and new physics. Science explains religion. The secret of sexuality is horizontal gene transfer, the movement to what scientists have classified as lower life forms that have higher order. Looking at Osiris decoded, we can now understand the beard as the sign for a black hole, the crossed arms as the DNA cross, the two unks as DNA loops, and the white crown as a white hole. Papers are available at this website. Uh, we do have a few papers with us also, uh, but we can gravitate off this um, presentation. I could not thoroughly go into the dynamics. Thank you very much. Oh,